What's going on YouTube? Today we're back with another video and we're gonna be working on the Project Slow and Tiger again. Okay, so for today we've got a little stuff planned out. We're gonna be using this stainless steel braided line that we've picked up at a local shop, Action Performance. We're gonna be doing AN lines all the way from the fuel tank up to the engine itself. Got a little K-Tune filter that we're gonna be running in line as well as the sock on the uh, back or on, on the on the pump itself. So the basic two filter setup. Still using the in tank um, hanger. We've got the Walbro uh, 450. Do wiring. Uh, probably another video, but at least get the hoses all put on. And I had Ricky Sellers from Sellers Performance weld this on right here a little dash 6 an fitting and stock fuel pressure regulator return for the tank here's our k tune filter a couple other miscellaneous an fittings that we're going to be using uh also deleted the banjo fittings on the AM, AM fuel rail so we're going to be running full an lines i just got this little adapter to run the fuel rail onto the AM fitting. So this just goes right over here. Threads right on there. And we're gonna be running our fuel line. I don't know if I should go straight down or I'm gonna put my T-bracket in first to see how everything mounts up, but most likely I'll be doing the straight line off of here, loop around the back to my fuel filter and then have the lines run underneath over top of the subframe. So we're gonna start uh, lifting the car in the back and uh, putting it up on some stands and drop the tank. So we'll get rid of all the old fuel, uh, clean it up a bit, and uh, kind of dive into the AN line fittings today. Okay, now that that is mainly all drained, I want to see the top right here. It's really full of dirt, debris, a little bit of rust over here, just barely starting to hit the surface. So we're gonna take all these hoses off and uh, make sure that it's nice and clean. And that's where helicopters come from. That's pretty much our last coat of the black. We're gonna let this sit in the sun for a bit and dry up. And then probably hit it with a little bit of crystal clear enamel just so it can harden and, and have a nice seal on it. But the main reason we painted it is because there was a lot of surface rust starting to emerge. 
So if you saw in the time lapse, we cleaned it up with the greaser as well as uh, sanding it down a bit. So we should make sure that there's absolutely no rust on there. I guess things pretty much dry right now. And um, we can just leave it out for the time being. Next thing I'm gonna do right now is <clears throat> come back inside of the garage and I'm gonna mock up the lines for the AN. The AN lines, I mean, for the fuel feed because we've got one of the fittings on. That blue and red fitting right there is what's gonna come off of the tank. Feed off of here. Then I'm gonna make this come up to right underneath the firewall. I'm gonna feed it in through between the firewall and the subframe. And that's going to mount somewhere back over here with a fuel filter, the one I showed earlier. Then I'm gonna have a run around to the top and to the fuel rail. So let's see what I can figure out right now. And that's what helicopter Okay, just by checking underneath, I wanted to make sure I had enough line. Uh, just roughly set it up and I have about a foot extra down below and maybe about three feet extra up top. So I, I know I have more than enough. Right now what I'm gonna see is make sure that the inside of the tank is dry. And if it is, then I'm going to put the hanger in loosely and nothing final. But I'll put the hanger in, then I'll attach the line from the tank and see if I can run that into, or underneath the car with a few zip ties just to mock it up and uh, have it to the exact length I have it, and then I'll cut it and start making the lines. <clears throat> All right. Got it on the front hanger and on the jack, just supporting it up. Let's see if I can put the flashlight on the okay. floor. Sorry, it's kind of a weird angle right now, but I've got the AN line loosely on the top of the pump and I've got it routed now put it somewhere along the lines of right here just to go with the stock fuel system and the stock brake lines let's go see inside of the cabin okay, it looks like it's a little bit stretched but the pump clearance should be fine the tank clearance I mean and then if the cover doesn't fit then we can always add a little cover extra cover for it but now that it's at least in place I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie all the lines to where they're going to be sitting. That way I don't have all that extra slack and I can mark exactly where on the line I need to cut it. All right, so let's uh, see where I got. Coming right off the tank, I have it zip tied to where the fuel lines go, as well as the brake lines. Let's squeeze through here. And I've got it going from there, all the way under body. And if anybody has any ideas on how they've done it or want to share some opinions, I'd be happy to hear them. Okay, then, so I'm going. Right over here, goes up through the subframe and the sway bar. <clears throat> Got it coming out from right under there. Nothing's really pinched, so I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of extra line, which is awesome. So what I think I'm going to do is mark it Maybe right around here. I think right around here and then put the filter maybe on the firewall right there. That should be enough room to clear the T-bracket. The I might even do it like right there just in case. And then if anything, just have it loop over and around the, the piping, just go right to the fuel rail or underneath the pipe. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, cut the mark, then I'll take off the line again and actually cut it. Here, let's bring it over and start making the AM lines. All right, 
AN fittings onto the lines. So we've, now we've got three fittings on. From the tank, to the firewall, to the filter, off of the filter, and now we have to measure again. I think I'm gonna put the line back under the car. Maybe about a foot long, it'll be from here, from the filter, over to the fuel rail itself. So we've got everything er, lined up and everything, and we decided we're going to be doing a little bracket off of this bolt right here, since it clears very well the rear bracket. A lot better than I thought it would. So we got this little clamp holder thing from Ace which is just barely big enough to hold the actual uh, fuel filter, but the bolts on it can accept a 10, or the bolt holes will accept a 10, but not a 12. So we're just gonna drill it out and make it big enough to accept it, do it to our will. Okay, so I have it mounted on the wall right now. What I didn't realize is that this is a low spot where the stud was coming out of. So what I think I'll end up doing, not right now, but I'll end up going to the parts store one of these days and getting a longer stud or a longer bolt so I can bring it outwards, have it hanging off of the wall a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of imagine it, but um, so this will extend out to about right there. And then that way I can um, be able to have this about half an inch, an inch away from the firewall and won't be dependent on this being squeezed together. But it would be about half an inch difference in, in length, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the line for AN right now, the AN line, and I'll measure this out and see how much exactly I need. Okay, so that means this about Let's fit this on the rail. Make sure I got a good clearance. Enough slack. I think it should be no problem. Perfect. I really think it would come out perfect right there. A little bit of extra room to play around. And that'll be off about half an inch. I think I might just run to the parts store right now and get a nice stud to put on there. Okay, just like I said, I ran to the hardware store. I got an extended bolt, uh, made it tight against the firewall, and a little space right here. Washer and I have the bracket on there. It's a little bit loose, but I think I'm gonna clamp it down a little bit harder. But that's not really an issue right now. But the most important thing is that it's on there exactly how I described, and it seems to have pretty good clearance all around. Uh, for now, we're just going to take the lines off, like I said, drop the tank again, and pretty much be done for the day, since I got some other stuff to do this evening. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Always a pleasure to upload these videos. If you have any questions, make sure to always leave them down in the comment section below. And please, please, please like this video, and if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe notification button. Like always, guys, stay tuned.